uh, guys who didn't participate much yesterday, uh, it was pretty much the same day. Both uh, Zaza and um, Devin were just kind of being cautious with both guys. They did participate in some of the drills and, and got some shots up. And um, we're, we're still, again, just going, going about it in a real cautious manner uh, with both guys. Um, they both are moving really well out on the floor. Um, and we're just, we're just keeping on them uh, day to day. Um, I thought today was a really good day. We, we got a lot of things in from a defensive standpoint. Didn't get a lot of sh shots up this morning. Uh, we'll come back this afternoon in our second in our second uh, practice and focus more on shots. Uh, but uh, this morning's practice was mainly about uh, really, again, trying to set the tone uh, as far as who we have to be uh, defensively. Um, they got got pretty competitive, which I anticipated. Uh, and some guys kind of got, uh, you know, start kind of going at it a little bit, but that's, uh, I, I embrace that. I really do. I embrace it because I can I see that they're all being competitive um, and they all are, are committed to defending. And, I, and I've said it from the very beginning. Um, we have to establish ourselves as a unit defensively. And uh, these first two days, I thought our guys have done a pretty good, good job in, uh, uh, in setting the tone. It's only the second day, but can you give us any indication that who's standing out more than another or at least who's surprising you more than you thought they might? Um, I mean, it's hard to say after just two days, uh, but I see, uh, I see a lot of guys. Uh, first of all, as a group, I think we're in, uh, we're in real good shape. I see some guys that have really taken care of themselves over the summer, uh, anticipating that uh, we were going to be a team that was going to be more into the transition style game. Uh, guys came in camp in shape. Uh, I'm very pleased, uh, very pleased uh, to, to see that. I'm also starting to see them starting to really pick up what uh, you know what we're talking about and what our whole system is about offensively. Went much smoother this morning than it did last night, so that was a, that's, that's a good sign. Uh, good sign for me uh, as I move forward in, in putting together uh, more offensive things, uh, more offensive things. Uh, you know, particularly all the new guys who are here, uh, they're going to have to. You know, it's just like a crash course. Um, but they're starting to pick it up. I can see, I can see them starting to to play out their instincts more and just think about where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to do. They, like they're starting to pick it up. You talk about all the new guys. I can't imagine how many combinations you've written out on paper that you can look at on the perimeter. Yeah, I mean, it's um, you know, every morning um, before we come out on the floor, um, my staff and I we meet and we talk about, you know, we talk about the different combinations. That's one of the things we want to do. Um, in this uh, training camp, was to throw a lot of different combinations out there to get a, you know, to get a, get, a, get a feel for some of these guys how they play with others. Um, the flip, the flip side of that, uh, or I should say the negative side of that, is, is you know, when you have so many faces and so many new guys, and you're trying to implement, uh, you know, the, the, the system. Um, the guys who have been here, the veteran guys who have been here, they know what it is they're supposed to do out there. You still got guys that are uh, a little bit lost, so. Uh, mixing in the guys that know what they're doing versus the guys that are lost, you know, it, it, it can get a little scatterbrained at times. So uh, I'm, I'm really just trying to make sure that what we do put in and the combinations that we do, uh, that they really make sense from a standpoint that we can, um, you know, they can pick it up and they can see the big picture so that when we do get out here and we'll run through our things, it has a good flow to it. The guys have been here for a while, uh, Al and Josh and Jeff, have they been able to be coaches on the floor and try to help guys pick up some things? They really have. Yeah, you can see all, all three of those guys, they're really out there um, talking to the talking to the guys, telling them where they're supposed to go. Um, you know, they, they're, really, they're really being uh, vocal out on the floor, which I've always said, you know, with any team, you have to you have to be able to communicate and you have to be vocal. And I can see those guys are, uh, you know, as of the first couple of days, like they're starting to take more of a, of a leadership role, taking them more by the boards. And I, and I totally embrace that. I totally embrace that. Uh, there's so many new faces. Yeah, you, you, you want to try to get all on the same page as fast as you can. Um, the way to do it is, is to communicate. And uh, these first three practices that we've had, I can see the guys are really making a conscious effort of really communicating.